there's a way that people were responding just to the aesthetic of it. And then there were other people who who were trying to make sense of what Beyonce wanted to communicate with this image of her on a horse. Um, the photographer, I think he's LA based, did an interesting and, and I would say a beautiful job aesthetically. For me, the question is politically, is this what we want to communicate? Now, there are there are other examples. You can look at this right here um, where you say, OK, maybe something interesting is happening here where you're trying to harken back to a black cowboy tradition. Right. Um, other possibilities are you're trying to kind of tap into the classic Napoleon kind of the, the classic image of Napoleon. It, 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 it kind of summons some of this stuff, right? I don't know what Beyonce was trying to do. I'm not going to speculate. Or I'm not going to say what she was trying to do. I will say what it conjures for me. In some ways, it's like Kahende Wiley. Uh, if you all know Kahende Wiley, Kahende Wiley will often show um, Black people doing uh, regal, royal-type activities that are typically reserved for white folk, right? That's kind of his aesthetic style. That could be what she was um what she was doing here um but here's my issue with it and i know y'all some of y'all are gonna get mad i don't want beyonce or any other black person carrying the american flag like that i don't rock with that now let me be clear i think what beyonce is doing is saying this is our tradition too the cowboy is there's no more popular, no more celebrated uh, a, a representation of Americanness, of the American pioneer, of American uh, culture, of the American spirit, of American masculinity, of American violence, of American I mean, anything you want to say about America, you can damn near um, uh, uh, wind it up in the cowboy at some level. And so the cowboy, if it's that quintessentially American, the cowboy also signals whiteness. And so I think what Beyonce is trying to do here is interesting, right? I think she's saying these are our traditions too. In the same way that y'all are trying to say country music is white, black people started this thing. Yeah, you can talk about Kenny Rogers. You should. But you're going to talk about Charlie Pride, right? You can talk about Billy Ray Cyrus, fine. But you better talk about Ray Charles. And so we're not going to let country music be white people's. It's ours. And the, the, as long, yes, there are white cowboys, but there's a long history and tradition of black cowboys. In fact, the cowboy in many ways is indebted to black folk and black men in particular. So when she says that she's doing a country album and people are pushing back and saying she's not really country and radio stations allegedly don't want to play it and People are, you know, just like they did with uh, Old Town Road, which is clearly a country song, but y'all don't want it on the country charts. Um, y'all trying to say black music is just illegible in the country genre. Because of all of that, Beyonce is trying to say, this is our stuff too. I'm a, Country music, I'm going to take that back. The girl's from Texas and they're saying she can't do country music. What is that? When you got white men from New York making country albums. So she's like, this horse, I'm going to reclaim the cowboy. Cowboy Carter with the sad, says the sash. Country music, I'm going to need that back. And this flag that she's holding is another signal of reappropriation. And what she does is you don't see the stars. And I don't think that's accidental. I don't think anything Beyonce does artistically is accidental. So all of that I get. I think it's powerful. I think it's beautiful. I don't think she's selling out. I don't think she's uh, being uncritical. I don't think that she is just embracing American uh, exceptionalism or American patriotism in an uncritical way. I'm not accusing Beyonce of any of that. But what I am saying is, no matter how sophisticated your thinking is, no matter how complicated your analysis is, at the end of the day, she's still holding that American flag. And I don't want us holding that flag. Now, look, there were people on the internet like me who were saying, look, this is problematic. This is this is all the things I just talked about. And then there are people like uh, Yvette Carnell, who's one of the leaders of the American Descendants of Slavery, um, the, the ADOS movement, and other people who said, look, we black. 
It's time that we claim our stake here. America is ours. We built America. America owes us a debt. How are we going to say that we're owed reparations as Americans for building America and after being enslaved in America and then run from the flag? I get that logic. I don't agree with it, but I get that logic. I get that logic. However, However, the American flag in the popular imagination, in our everyday life, in our negotiations of the world, the flag still signifies, the flag still signals imperialism, domination, violence. The American flag all around the world is a, is a symbol of violence. It's, it's, it's either a sign that violence is coming or that violence has already come and taken over. And so I don't know if you can sanitize that even with blackness. When I think of cowboys, I also think of American expansion that meant to the colonization, the genocide, the cleansing of these lands of indigenous people of our native brothers and sisters so i don't want the flag i don't want the cowboy you can have country music you can take country music y'all that's ours black folk we should be singing country music but i don't need to be no cowboy and i don't need no flag and maybe that's why she said this is country music this is beyonce album not a country album maybe that's what she meant maybe she's on to something here but i don't love the aesthetics i get why some of y'all do although i, I suspect some of y'all are just beyonce stands and she could come out with a clan robe on and y'all would still find a way to make this subversive and critical and powerful and y'all would be doing the single ladies dance with y'all clan robes on in the stadium for her next concert i think some of y'all don't some of y'all lose your critical faculties you lose your critical consciousness when it comes to beyonce so that's all i could say